is show you how to solve a, uh, the area of a triangle. And to find the area of this triangle, um, a couple things we need to remember is, hopefully you guys can remember the area of a rectangle. And if I was gonna kinda draw a dotted line to show the area of a rectangle, what you could say is, you know, the area of a rectangle is gonna be, you know, your length times your width, right? Well, if you look at, on this triangle, this triangle is exactly half of the area of this rectangle that I created. So if I want to find the area of a triangle, which is, you know, this area here, I'm going to say one half length times width. All right? So for this side now, a lot of people don't kind of get messed up. They don't really know what length and width are. Just your length can be either the bottom or the side, it doesn't really matter. It's just all it's saying is, you know, a lot of times say base times height is sometimes even a better example. And in another triangle, I'll explain why we want to use base times height. But here, for this right triangle, it has a right angle, uh, we, uh, we can just use length times width. So we take one length, which is 4.5, And then we multiply by 6.5. Now, I was going to do this in my head, um, or then I was going to do it on the board, but I have a lovely calculator here that I just want to make sure my answers are correct, so might as well do it there. Right? Makes sense. Right? Maybe. Because I know I'm going to have to divide by 2, and that's going to be 0.25, divide by 2, which is going to be 12.5. I just don't want to do all the work. So if I just have, so I do, um, let's just do 4.5 times 6.5 without doing the math in my head, which I know I could do. Um, and by the time I said this, we already have area equals 1 half, 6 times 4 is 24. equals 29.25. All right, then if I multiply that by 1 half, I get area equals 14.625. So again, remember just to find the area of a triangle, just take, you know, if you're looking at a rectangle, or if it's a right triangle, you can find just half of the um, half of the length times the width, um, and then or find the length times the width, then multiply by half as it represents half of a rectangle. That's only for right triangles when it has a right angle.